What's up, everybody? Uh, for those of you who don't know, my name is Justin Calamis. Um, and I give my credentials in all my other videos. But today I want to give a reaction to uh, the Drew Brees comment. See, Drew Brees was giving an interview with Yahoo Finance. During the interview, he was asked his thoughts on the subject of players potentially kneeling during the, na the national anthem for the 2020 season. Let's hear it. I will never agree with anybody disrespecting the flag of the United States of America. Let me, let me just tell you what I feel when the national anthem is played and when I look at the, the flag of the United States. I envision my two grandfathers who fought for this country during World War II. And in many cases, it brings me to tears, thinking about all that has been sacrificed, not just those in the military, but for that matter, those throughout the civil rights movements of the 60s. And everyone and all that has been endured by so many people up until this point. And is everything right with our country right now? No. But I think what you do by standing there and showing respect to the flag with your hand over your heart is it shows unity. We can all do better and that we are all part of the solution. Flag on the play. A violation has occurred, uh, illegal use of white privilege. Drew Brees is marginalizing what black people are experiencing in this country because he's seeing the world through the lens of the oppressor, not the oppressed. Uh, I am happy that when Drew Brees sees the flag of the United States of America and his grandfathers who fought for this country in World War II, I'm glad he sheds a couple tears. That's beautiful. But Drew Brees, black people fought in World War II. But imagine fighting for a country that at that point didn't even give you the same civil liberties that it gave your grandparents, Drew Brees. Do you know when the U.S. entered World War II, Jim Crow segregation had entered every single aspect of American society? Do you know that there were several se segregated units in the military during World War II? So even though we all supposed to have a common enemy in a war, this country still had us divided. OK, still looked at us as an enemy. This is why so many black folks have a problem with patriotism. How can we salute a country that historically enslaved us, marginalized us, and continues to brutalize us? See, Drew Brees is a white privileged male. That's how he sees America, okay? It's, it's, it's all roses. He's living his life like it's golden. Okay, this white supremacist system works well for him because it's supposed to. I am not arguing with any white person about why people choose to take a knee in regards to police brutality. There's nothing to debate. OK, if you don't get it by now, you don't want to get it. And if you're committed to misunderstanding the situation, whatever. Now, I had a convo. I did have a convo with my good brother, Michael Eric Dyson, this weekend. Drop on the clues bombs for Michael Eric Dyson. And he was explaining to me why you do have to teach white people, because whether you know it or not, you are unintentionally teaching them so you might as well be intentional about teaching them so I, I i keep that in mind at times like this and uh i defer to one of our greatest teachers killer mike uh, he was on with jalen and jacoby and he had some uh some lessons for drew Brees. let's hear it i would like to know what he considers disrespect because in when i travel and we perform in germany i never see a nazi flag because Nazis are a part of history that Germany understands was a cancer and corrupt and they've ridded themselves of. Drew Brees plays in the deep south. As we travel through the south, we see the Confederate flag everywhere in the bounds. So if you're gonna tell me about flag and dis disrespecting the American flag, the fact that you live in a region that they still fly the rebel flag or the Confederate flag and you don't adamantly speak against that on a regular basis just tells me that you're protecting the way of life or what you think is right. The American flag stands for the First Amendment and the ability to say what you feel about situations. Now, you bear the brunt of that. You may get blackballed out of the NFL, but you have the right to. So if you support and you don't want to see the American flag disrespected, don't look at it on butt wiser shorts at picnics. Don't look at it at it on bikini shots in Playboy. Don't look at it um, on your favorite album covers because you think that rock band is rocking for you. Be all the way with it. You're an intelligent football player, but that was an incredibly stupid thing to say. But I'm not going to be so burdened with the religion that has become Americanism, nationalism, that I forget that the flag represents the United States Constitution. And the United States Constitution was written by a bunch of people who chose to protest violently in order mm. to have a flag. So what you interpret as disrespect probably is the most patriotic thing happening today. Just something to think about. Something to think about, Drew Brees. Uh, if I had a lesson for Drew Brees, because I'm nowhere near as eloquent as Killer Mike, but if I had a lesson for Drew Brees, it would be a simple homework assignment, and it's this. If you don't understand why players kneel, 
if you don't understand why players take a knee, then go watch the video of that white devil cop kneeling, taking a knee on George Floyd's neck for eight minutes and 46 seconds. If you don't get it after that, well, we might just need you to shut the F up forever on all issues regarding race in this country and sit the rest of this season called life out. Yo, if you don't understand why black athletes are taking the knee by now, because Colin Kaepernick, Kaepernick made it clear that it was about police brutality and is obviously not disrespecting the flag since the flag is supposed to represent the First Amendment. And even military people, it was a military man that told Kaepernick to take a knee because at first Kaepernick sat on the bench and the military personnel told him he should just take a knee. With that being said, uh, Drew, and then, you know, later Drew Brees apologized, but, you know, he only apologized because he caught so much backlash. But it's very obvious he made the comment because Drew Brees was anticipating his post-retirement endorsements. He didn't want to piss off the upper-level white man because he wanted to make sure that he would still have a healthy income with, you know, probably like the Allstate commercials or uh, whatever they get in these retired quarterbacks now. He want to miss none of that money. But he realized the fans stand with the protesters. <clears throat> but um, with that being said, um, this isn't the first, you know, comment. Because, you know, uh, Jerry Jones... Is, uh, you made a lot of controversial comments. And I think the Texans coach or the Texans owner was the one who was like, we can't have the prisoners running the yard. Essentially what it means is you can't have the slaves running the plantation, basically. Um, so I think that since they don't, since they didn't want to hear the silent protest taking the knee, and now we are we're having the march and the protest now that is being tainted by the outsiders who are um, looting and you know burning things down, and these people don't have nothing to do with the protest. Um, I think it's time to hit. Uh, you know, hit America in his pockets. And I think uh, Dr. King them had it right when they, uh, <clears throat> like the civil rights, when they boycotted the uh, the bus lines. I think um, there shouldn't be a single black athlete that returns to professional sports in the United States. And watch watch change happen from there. If we want real life change in the in uh police reform, court reform, you know, the whole justice system needs to be overhauled because some of these cops are kicking in doors and coming into our homes and shooting us in our homes. And I think that lady that kicked in old boy's door and killed him at his house. And she said it was the wrong house, but, you know, she previously knew him. She got convicted of murder, but only got 10 years. You know, I got partners that got 40 years for having a bag of weed. We still, you know, locking the black man up for having a couple blunts for 20 and 30 years. But police are just getting fired for assassinating us in the streets. <clears throat> so I think we should boycott of all U.S. sports. Now that we see that people can do without it, um, you know, like the NFL, NBA, all that's been shut down. And I don't want to hear, uh, well, the athletes have to pay their bills. How have they been paying their bills for the last six, seven months? Matter of fact, there is at least one athlete on every team that makes you know more than $50 million a year. He should help feed his teammates. So I think we should be united 
and all of my brothers and sisters in professional sports, uh, we should not return. You know, starting with somebody like LeBron James, he has to take the lead. And we will see how America would fare and how they would do when the uh, 6'4", 4'3", 40 linebacker doesn't show up for work or the 6'8", 45-inch vertical you know, basketball player doesn't show up for work or when your Barry Bonds or whoever the top baseball player is doesn't show up for work. Let's stop participating in the U.S. Olympics and the U.S., you know, doesn't stand for us, but we want to win all the gold medals for them in track, field, basketball. So until, until America stands for us, I think we should, you know, you know, we lead their entertainment. When you watch the NFL games, you know, they come to see what we're going to do. We watch the NBA, they come to, you know. You can say it sounds racist, but whatever. And nobody calls it racist. When my people are getting gunned down in the street, they call it failure to comply. You know, whatever. <clears throat> yeah, so all of our, my, um, my black MLB, NBA, NFL, NHL, uh, soccer, all of it. We just, let's boycott it. Stop showing up for work until they show up for work.